Today's extreme temperatures make a very dangerous job even more perilous. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne explains how new London firefighters tried to stay safe as they battled smoke, flames, and the intense heat. The new London Fire Department is on top of the world. Right now, you're scraping the sky aboard NLFD's new ladder truck. But the apparatus doesn't just provide pretty views. Well, guys went through it. They decided where they should put stuff. This morning, Chief Thomas Curcio showed Mayor Michael Passero, who was a former New London firefighter himself, how the ladder truck will help the department save lives. There's more ability with this tower ladder. It's safer to operate inside the tower than it is off the end of that ladder. Um, you know, to rescue people out of the upper floors, and there's just a lot, a lot you can do with that vehicle. This investment not only protects the safety of the people in New London day in and day out, but it also uh, helps to provide extra mutual aid for our neighboring cities. That was apparent early this morning as a fire sliced through a home in nearby Waterford. New London responded to the call. Fortunately, the four people inside the home, including two kids, got out safely, although a small dog did die. Even in the morning hours, though, Firefighters faced an age-old challenge even modern technology can't solve, intense heat. It was hot. We went through a lot of firefighters out there. You just have to constantly rotate people in and out, make sure they take a break, make sure they're hydrated. Chief Curcio says in this kind of weather, department leaders need to make sure firefighters remove their equipment right away for safety reasons, drink plenty of water, and most importantly, monitor every firefighter as they battle smoke and flames. Because sometimes when adrenaline kicks in, they don't realize how long they've been inside a burning building. And Chief Curcio says even with the latest and greatest equipment, the most valuable resource fire departments have is firefighters themselves. You have to make people come out and take a break because they don't want to stop. Once they get in there, they don't, you know, they want to finish the job. In New London, Roger Susanit, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.